Hello class, hello friends, hello families, hello subscribers, welcome to another Miss Kramer's art class. I'm so glad that you stopped by and are watching how to make our new 3D sculpture and we're gonna be creating garden gnomes. Yes, so who loves garden gnomes? Who couldn't love garden gnomes? They're so adorable and cute and they have such quirky personalities and each one is such an individual, one-of-a-kind, special, unique, cute personality. So you can't go wrong with these. These are super simple. So the technique is like very easy using only the cone shape. We're going to do some pinch pot. So they're going to be hollow on the, on the bottom. And we studied in art some of that. And so let's just get step by step to it. We also can assign with alphabet letters, which are basically um, gonna be pushed into the clay and then burn out out of the uh, at the kiln when we fire this because they're made of pasta flour so they're gonna burn off and leave a residue with the signature so you're gonna assign your first and last name like this like alicia russell for example here and her uh glasgow name of the teacher first name for example richardson and four and these are some of the types of gnomes that we can make this one has a striped hat with a heart and a singing mouth he's singing something this one is a sleepy one that has little smile here that you can see through the beard and has some patchwork and patches. Looks like a uh, old fabric, little scruffy little gnome, a little maybe older gnome that likes to just get messy in the garden, doesn't care to get too dirty. So if your clay start cracking up like this that's fine too that's when it gets dry and that's fine it just adds a beautiful texture so if that happens no problem but we will learn how to smooth it out as well and then of course we have another different technique here where um, instead of scratching the beard here we scratch the beard here we roll the little snake shapes and we attach them. So that is another um, technique for a beard. For little older classes can try that. This is elementary lesson, very simple lesson. Some hats you can decorate with polka dots or lines or even add a heart or a flower. Let's get to it step by step. I'm gonna leave the gnomes as example sitting here while I'm working. Okay, so you're going to get a piece of clay, small little piece of clay. What you're going to do right now is pinch a little bit away for nose and the little snake shape, this one that's going to go around the head and maybe some attachments like a heart. So we need one for nose and a few other things. So put a little bit away. So as you can see, there are different varieties that we can do, but we all start with putting away some clay, some pieces of clay like that. And then what we're gonna do, uh, we are going to create a little ball out of this block that I gave you. You're gonna start squeezing it from one hand to another like this and just squishing it. And it feels good, it's nice. You can even roll it on the table. We've got these covers, um, these are, um, laminated so the your placement um, you can roll it on it it should not stick too much to it if you don't put too much water on your clay so let's keep the clay moist but not too wet so you can roll it it doesn't have to be a perfect ball but get it get it into a like round globe shape and then the next part is gonna be squeezing so we're gonna squeeze it like this and make like an oval. So we're making an oval 
first. And this is nice and slow for elementary grade, so even kindergarten can follow along. So we have an oval, right? And then when we make an oval, then we're gonna start pinching. This is called a pinch pot technique. So we're just not gonna be making a pot, but this is how they used to make a pot. So I'm just pinching and pushing the clay to the side, creating a hole here by pinching, pinch, 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 like if you were pinching someone, but you're pinching a clay. That way, you're gonna make the cone a little hollow. Okay, and as you're pinching, you can pull on the top a little bit, and it's going to create a little top. And then once you're happy with this, it's nice and hollow, and the sides are about the same width. So if you have it like this, that's fine too. That's close enough, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect or certain width, as long as it's hollow, okay? Okay, so after that, when you have that, you're gonna start squeezing like this, or you can run your hands like this to create a little top of the hat, because gnomes have pointy hats. And for those older classes, you can curve the hat like that and bend it over. For the, for the younger classes, you can just leave it straight up or you can bend it just a little if you like. Okay? Got different ways to bend the hat. Any way you like. Each hat will be just different and natural sitting, so don't worry about it. As long as you have a nice pointy top and a little cone shape like this, and a hollow metal, which really helps because if it's solid, it could explode in the kiln or break in the kiln because some of the clay here would be too wet and too dry on the side and might not uh, fire properly. So that's why, and we are also learning how to pinch a pot. That's another standard that we're learning. So we're um, learning how to do it the correct way. Okay, once you have this done, put your cone down for a second and put his friends next to him so they can keep him a nice company. And take one of your clay for a nose. So decide if you want a nice big nose and you're gonna roll, roll, roll the ball between your hands or tiny little nose. It's up to you what kind of nose you like for your gnome. You're gonna roll your nose and just see how it's gonna look like. Is this nose too large for this face? I think it's just too large. I'm gonna make it a little smaller for me. So I'm gonna take some off. That's gonna be good. And now this is the trick to attach the nose. This is called scoring. And I'm gonna write it down. We're going to learn to score, S-C-O-R-E, to score. So to score or scoring is decide where you want your nose and you're going to scratch the surface. That's called scoring, scoring lines. And it's going to work like Velcro. Have you used Velcro before? So both sides have to be scored. And you're scoring like this, both sides. And then you're gonna take your brush from water cup, not too much water, make sure you squeeze out the excess so it's not too wet. Squeeze it out against the edge of the cup. And you're gonna put some water on both sides, not too much. And this is the way we're gonna attach the nose. Let's go ahead and squish it in and wiggle it a little. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And that's gonna allow the Velcro parts, the little hair, zip together really well. And it's not gonna fall off. Remember how last year 
we had our frog frog tongues and frog eyes falling over all the time and fish eyes. So this year we want to make sure that we remember to score a little better. And we studied about how to score last year, but not everybody got to do it. And then their noses and eyes fell off. So let's make sure that we're going to score. That way our nose stays on. Do you see how I'm smoothing the edges? I used my pencil to go under and smooth the lines. And I used my finger and I went over it gently to smooth the lines. Did you see how I did that? And when you're happy with that, put your note down. Next step is we're gonna make a shape out of our extra clay that's gonna look like a snake. So we have, we're gonna squeeze the clay in our hands and we're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it like this. Now it's getting there, but we need a little bit longer. This way, it would be actually good to put it down and I'm gonna put the score here because we're still gonna be scoring. So I'm gonna leave the vocabulary on the screen so rem you remember to score, okay? And we're gonna roll, roll, roll. Nice little noodle or a snake shape. You can make it nice and thin or you can keep it thicker. Just like with the nose, you can have a tiny nose or you can have a big nose, that's up to you, what size you decide. So once you have a nice little, little coil, and this is called coil, and that spells, so one is core, two is coil, C-O-I-L, this is called coil. So this, you're gonna have a coil like this like a little snake shape or a noodle. Now you're gonna pick up gently your gnome. You're gonna press, place the coil over the nose. It goes straight over the nose. And then you're gonna wrap down all the way down and push down gently. Put your hand inside and push gently like this so it's gonna adhere. Go around and push gently on the other side, like this. And then, look what we're gonna do on the back side. We're gonna wrap it around and join them, and then pinch off the rest, like this. Now notice, I didn't score this one, but I'm gonna be scoring now. I'm gonna score it here. This is scoring as well. So it's like sewing. I'm going from one from the coil to the top of the head. And I'm kind of making like stitches. So I'm pushing my pencil against the coil and my cone shape. And I'm going around all the way around very closely. This will join the coil and the cone of the gnome, the shape of the gnome, really well. And that way, I don't have to have scored the underside of the coil. This is how it's gonna look like at first. Then you're gonna squeeze some water from your brush so it's not too wet. So squeeze some on the edge like this. And now you're gonna gently go over just to smooth it out more. And you can also use your hands and your fingers to smooth it out as smooth as you like. So you can use the bristles and kind of do this pulling motion over where you scored. And don't erase all of the lines because they're pretty too. They're, they are a very pretty texture. So it's gonna add a texture to your sculpture so don't all erase them, but you can use your hand and you can use your fingers and you can smooth it out like this. Do you see how that works? And you see, I'm, I don't have too much. I don't keep adding water. I only 
wet it my brush one time and I squeezed out all the moisture. So if it's too wet, it's gonna start running and things are gonna start losing shape. You don't wanna have it too wet. Now you can start shaping your gnome over the nose any way you like to give him a little personality. Notice that the head goes all the way to the bottom. It's funny that way, it looks like he's wearing one ginormous hat. If you want to, you can give your gnome a little nostril on the bottom here. That's optional. I use the pencil and I give him a little nostril. If you wanted to, you can give your gnome a little mouth like this. He is singing some chorals, some Christmas chorals maybe, or just singing some love songs for Valentine's Day. Or you can give him a smile like this. But for younger grades, it's just fine if you go straight into scratching some nice texture lines for the beard. And all I'm doing is making curvy, baby lines, little bit curved lines from our line family, or even a straight lines are fine, curved or straight lines over the rest of the body of the gnome, because he's got a really long beard. And just keep creating the texture that you like. Optionally, you can add little smooth texture over that but as you can see that's kind of erasing the lines a little bit so you don't want to overdo it with the brush you want to still have the texture for all the grades and younger grades are not going to do this for all the grades you can roll, roll your coils and attach them to the beard you see how i did do it here so all I did was I took some clay again for the older grades, for fifth grades, you can create a textured beard by rolling a coil and then attaching one by one into the beard after you score it in order to have extra, extra, extra texture and interest to your beautiful gnome. So you're just adding coils. Okay, that's the snake shape. And I'm just pushing them over and my body of the gnome already has the scored because I was doing the beard, so I was already scoring so it should attach. And then don't forget, if you're attaching the coil, you should run the brush over that just to seal it better into the scoring so it stays on your gnome. And add as many coils as you like. You can even give him shorter mustache coming out of the nose this way maybe. and create a different type of beard. And any kind of interest that you like, if you're making a female gnome, you can braid her beard or you can braid her hair coming down and make her look more feminine or give her a little bow. I'm rolling my coils here, you can't see, but I'm rolling my coils like this, right there. And I can attach more coils to my beard. I'm making tiny ones too. I'm gonna attach it here. This one is gonna be a different kind. Of beard. He has beard coming this way, across, and down this way. 
Okay, so we can be adding more and more and more texture this way. But after when you're happy and your gnome looks happy and that's the way you want him, maybe I'll give him a little sinking smile. So if you wanted to do a smile or um, mouth, you, I made my, my gnome sink with my pencil, so I left his mouth open. This is like the look with the open mouth. And I'm gonna squeeze it together to look a little more natural. So I'm squeezing it together. And I have my cute little gnome. Now I'm gonna give some texture to my head. I think I'm gonna do the polka dot for the video, but you could do lines as well, especially for the older grades. If you like the lines look, that's pretty too. Any kind of textures. You can do lines or you can do patchworks. So it so it look like a patchwork. What would you do is you would create a line coming this way and this way, like a number sign, and that would make it look like a patch, fabric patch, like an older fabric with a patch on it. So allow your mind create any kind of imagination for the decoration of your gnome. It could be a symbol, a special wave or lines or circles. You can use the end of the pencil to create larger polka dots too. They will have slightly different indentation look to it. This head already looks a little mushroomy, doesn't it? So you can create some textures this way as well. You can make bigger holes or smaller holes. Bigger like that, smaller like that. And then when we color it red, it's gonna be fantastic looking. So that would be the end of the lesson. We went on 22 minutes, so that's a long time. These are your examples, and we learned the dictionary terms, terminology terms, which are coil and cone and scoring. And I'll see you in our next lesson, and I hope you visit us soon here at our channel and create art with us here at Miss Kramer's art class. I will see you very soon. Now is your turn.